Hey guys, Golden Eagle here. Welcome to another episode of Black Ops 2 Reflections. A weekly Friday series in which I will look back at different topics about Black Ops 2 and give you guys my opinions of them until I get Call of Duty Ghosts. This week, I have some domination gameplay with the MP7 on the map Slums. Let me give a quick shout out to It's Dylan on Instagram for suggesting this week's topic. While he asked if I would do the best attachments for assault rifles, I decided to do the best attachments for every weapon class, in addition to my favorite kill streaks. Let's actually start with my favorite kill streaks. My two favorite setups for kill streaks are the Orbital V set, EMP systems, and Swarm, and the UAV, Counter UAV, and Orbital V set. I use the first one when I'm going for swarms, obviously. The swarms are not necessarily that hard to get, but they are the highest kill streak and are something fun to go for. The Orbital VSAT helps in two ways, because obviously it shows where the enemies are and which direction they are facing, which is incredibly valuable to helping you to continue your streak. And also, it gives you some points for every kill that your teammates get while it's up. The EMP systems also give you points for every kill your teammates get and it will destroy any kill streaks that the enemy has up, giving you more points. And it will prevent them from calling in any more kill streaks for a little while. So you won't have to worry about getting killed by something random like a hunter killer or having your radar blocked out by a counter UAV. And of course, the swarm is the highest kill streak, and it often gets you a large number of kills. And it cannot be destroyed or killed like the Lodestar VTOL or the dogs. The only thing that can destroy it is an EMP, but people ra rarely run this kill streak, so that should never be a problem for you. I like to use the other setup when I'm going for long gun streaks. The UAV and Orbital V set help you know where the enemies are, and the counter UAV prevents them from knowing where you are. So these are streaks that give you a slight advantage over the other team and help you to continue on your own streak. Aside from these setups though, you really can't go wrong using any of the kill streaks in the game. Some other ones that I like to run once in a while are the Lightning Strike, Hellstorm Missile, Guardian, and Sentry Gun. This is because all of them help you to either clear or hold objectives in Domination, which is my favorite game mode. Of course, the Stealth Chopper, Escort Drone, Lodestar, VTOL Warship, and Dogs are always fun to use too, to help you rack up more kills. But if you're facing a team of smart players, then they could get shot down or killed pretty quickly. So, let's move on to my favorite attachments for each weapon class in the game. I'm going to be focusing on the main weapon classes of Assault Rifles, SMGs, Shotguns, LMGs, and Snipers. My favorite two attachments for Assault Rifles are Quick Draw and Stock. Quick Draw enables you to ADS faster, obviously, which gives you an advantage in gunfights, and enables you to be more competitive with faster weapons like SMGs and Shotguns. Stock helps with the exact same thing by making you quicker when you ADS. You can also quickly strafe and dodge bullets or get around cover. Other than these, some others that I like are the Reflex Sight, Suppressor, Fast Mag, Laser Sight, MMS, or Extended Clip. You really can't go wrong with any of them. My favorite attachments for SMGs are the Long Barrel, Suppressor, and Laser Sight. Whether I want to use the Long Barrel or Suppressor depends on how I'm playing at the time. If I plan on being really close to the enemies and nearby their spawn, then a suppressor would probably be better to keep me off their radar. But if I'm going to be playing the objective or being more defensive, then the long barrel comes in more handy because it allows you to engage players at slightly longer ranges. And then, either way, the laser sight helps when the enemies get close by, because many times it is better to hip fire with SMGs than to aim down sight. I really don't use many other attachments with SMGs, uh, but some other attachments that I do use once in a while are Quick Draw or Stock if I want to be even faster, or Fast Mag or Extended Clip so I can reload faster or shoot longer. For shotguns, my favorites are the Long Barrel, Laser Sight, and Quick Draw attachments. The Long Barrel increases your range, which helps because obviously the shotguns have shorter ranges, except for the KSG, of course, but that's a special case. The laser sight helps with more accurate hip fire, which is what you want to be doing most of the time with a shotgun, especially if you are very close to the enemies. Quick draw is for when you want to kill enemies at slightly longer ranges that hip fire will not be good for. Aiming down sight will give you a tighter bullet spread, meaning that more of your shotgun pellets will be closer together, making it better for longer ranges, as opposed to a wider spread when you hip fire, which is better at closer ranges. I rarely use any other attachments than these with shotguns, but you could use fast mag, and stock is actually really helpful on the KSG because you always want to be aiming down sight with that shotgun all of the time. 
as far as the LMGs go, I like to use the Target Finder, Quick Draw, FMJ, or the Suppressor on those. With an LMG, you want to be sort of campy and wait for people to come to you and also defend objectives with it. So the Target Finder helps you to spot people from further away. Quick Draw helps you to keep your sights up quicker because the LMGs have a very slow ADS speed. Because the LMGs have such large clip sizes, you can pretty much constantly fire them at enemies, even if you miss them at first. And FMJ helps in case they go behind cover, because then you can keep firing even more through walls and maybe get a wall bank kill on them. And lastly, a suppressor is really good on LMGs, because while it does reduce the damage you do over range, you're going to be able to fire much more bullets, so doing a little less damage does not really matter that much. Some other attachments that I sometimes use on the LMGs are the stock and dual band. Stock gives you that little boost to mobility in case you want to be more aggressive with an LMG. And the dual band is a good alternative to the target finder for, for being able to see people who are far away or who are head glitching or something like that. Lastly, we have the sniper rifles. The two attachments I like most for snipers are the variable zoom and the ballistic CPU. I actually rarely use a sniper in this game, but when I do, I like to play a more traditional sniper role by hard scoping and defending objectives. The variable zoom is just a personal preference for me because I like the crosshair on it better than the default one for some reason, and I do like how you can adjust your zoom. And the ballistic CPU decreases the sway of the scope, so while I'm hard scoping, my aim can be more steady. Some other stuff you could use are the laser sight, extended clip, or fast mag attachments. The laser sight helps if you want to go for quick scopes or no scopes, and because the snipers reload so slow, extended clip or fast mag can help with that. Okay, so that does it for this week's episode of Black Ops 2 Reflections. Those were my favorite kill streaks and attachments in Black Ops 2. Please leave a comment and let me know what yours are. And also, feel free to suggest a topic about Black Ops 2, either here or on my Instagram. And I'll give you a shout out in next week's video if I pick yours. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.